In the recent weeks, Qatar Airways was dominating global aviation news. It all started with Qatar grounding a dozens of its Airbus A350s since the airline is unhappy with the conditions of the paint on the planes. Airbus dismisses those claims as cosmetic issues and further announces that it doesn't affect the safety of the plane. While the Qatari flag carrier is demanding compensation from Airbus, the manufacturer seemed quite annoyed and cancelled Qatar's order of 50 Airbus A221neos, valued over $6 billion. A few weeks ago, I was invited to come to Doha by Qatar Airways to interview its CEO Mr. al and to get a look behind the scenes. I was given a little taste of the Qatar executive experience, boarding a Gulfstream private jet and getting spoiled for life. But I was also shown the catering facilities to get an idea of what a logistical challenge it is to feed thousands of passengers every day. The main part of this video will be my flight from Doha to Frankfurt, trying the famous Q Suite which is set to be the world's best business class. So please join me today on a little different adventure from Doha to Frankfurt. Today's journey started in Doha and if you're booked on business class, Qatar offers a dedicated check-in area for its premium customers. So guys, beautiful good morning. Just checked into the Q Suite experience today, flying to Frankfurt. I only had three hours of sleep, so if I look a bit sleepy, please excuse me. But now uh, there's a special treat. I have access to the first class lounge here, the Al Safa lounge uh, in Doha. So we're gonna go and check this one out. So let's do this. Let's go to Frankfurt. So the Asafa Lounge is usually for first class passenger, but the first class only technically exists on the 380, which is currently not in service. But now they have like special offers where you can put, book that as an option and then you can access the first class lounge. Or if you fly business class regional in the uh, GCC region, then you consider a first class traveler as well and you will get access to the lounge as well. The Al Safa First Class Lounge is the cutting edge of what a lounge can be and impresses with its stunning design, architecture, outstanding facilities and world-class catering. But have a look for yourself. And there is even a jacuzzi in that lounge. How beautiful. After a long flight, you want to just relax and chill. There you go. So that was my visit to the Al Safa Lounge. Uh, the staff is sensational and everything else attached to it. Uh, beautiful. Uh, now I'm gonna head to the gate and it's Q Suite time, six hours to Frankfurt. Today we are flying the Boeing 777-300 which features 42 Q Suites in a 1 to 1 configuration and 312 seats in economy class. Frankfurt is one of Qatar's busiest flights and most seats were taken. So guys, and here we are, welcome on board the famous Q Suite, uh, a business class product that has set new standards. It's market leading, it's the best in the world, um, multiply award winning, and it always brings up very nice memories um, when we took delivery of the Airbus A350-1000 um, ferry flight with the chief uh, from Toulouse to Doha. It was a wonderful and pleasant experience. But yeah, let me give you a quick little seat tour. 
Apart from the unmatched privacy, the Q-Suite offers plenty of entertainment options, power outlet, USB slots, as well as mood lights. It goes completely flat and a blanket, pillow and a manic ticket are already ready at your seat. So yeah, flight time to uh, Frankfurt is roughly six hours, so uh, I always say that's not enough time to enjoy this amazing product. It is uh, the best are the ULR, the ultra long range flights, 14, 15 hours on this product. Let me tell you, there's nothing more enjoyable than this. And um, yeah, what else is there to say? There will be a lunch service, or yeah, lunch. They actually serve lunch here on this flight. Uh, I ate so much at the lounge, so I don't know how much I can eat, but I still want to show you what they dish up so you get a bit of an idea. But I look at this, we're still on the ground, we're a little late, and uh, yeah, you have all the amenities, you have blanket. So the game plan is take off, eat, go flat, wake up half an hour before we touch down in Frankfurt. But yeah, I love it. Crew, also very nice. Um, the guy. And my aisle is from Serbia, I think. Edin, uh, very, very eager, very eager to uh, engage. I like that. Uh, um, always nice to have a little small talk, uh, to get to know uh, the crew, or for the crew to get to know their passenger. I'm all for it. Um, it makes, it, it enhances the, the, uh, the, the service experience as well. If you buddy up with your crew a little bit, it's always the best you can do. So they, then they'll be extra looking after you. So we're just pushing back and very soon you will get to hear the startup of the G90 engines. A beautiful sound. You can hear it the vibration it's just amazing and the great thing is with this seat it's a uh, rear facing uh, yeah you have actually the seats on the airplane that are facing the back of the plane uh, which gives me a beautiful view of the G90 engine the most powerful in the world We then pushed back and this is perhaps a great opportunity to hit the subscribe button. You would certainly make my day. Thank you. So here we are, just reached cruising altitude. Um, and the magic of the seat is once you shut that door, you don't even feel like you're traveling on a, on a passenger jet with 300 other people. You don't notice it. You sit here in your little cubicle and you're in your own little world. Uh, the privacy on this product is just insane. It's really nice. I wouldn't say private jet, I would have said private jet, but Qatar Airways ruined that for me. They showed me the Qatar executive jet. So. As part of my visit, I got a little taste of the Qatar executive experience, the airline's private jet fleet. Its flagship, the Gulfstream G650ER, is an absolute masterpiece and can carry 13 passengers up to 7,500 nautical miles. So instead of spending $65 million on your own jet, Qatar Executive is happy to take you anywhere in the world with only a three hour notice prior. I know most of us can only dream of flying in a private jet, including myself unfortunately, but I did find it extremely fascinating to see how the famous and rich or Tinder swindlers travel these days in this pure luxury that is unmatched anywhere in this world. That was an insane experience. When you see what private travel looks like in the cabin, uh, totally spoiled, totally spoiled. I mean, that is next level stuff. Not even a first class product can compete with what I saw on this, on this business jet. And it is a, a masterpiece, yeah. It just motivates me to work a little harder so I get to fly a private jet 
least once in my life. <laughs> but uh, it was an incredible experience. But yeah, so there's going to be a, a snack, I would say, a snack. There's going to be lunch. We're also going to have a look at the amenity kit a little later. I do think my door is broken though. Because every time I try to close it, it just slides open. Well, um, and this is the massive screen right in front of you. The entertainment system of Qatar Airways is uh, also sensational. There's over 5,000 entertainment options. You have internet, super like high speed internet. And when I interviewed the CEO, he said they're working on an even faster internet. So on the new 789 Dreamliner, there will be a new antenna introduced, which apparently is much faster or provides much faster internet and probably it's a bit more aerodynamic as well so there is an evolution when it comes to all the technical gear um, on the flights which you uh, can see they're always improving they're always working on it airlines get involved um, it's nice to see and then speaking of the internet so you get one hour of complimentary internet if you are a premium passenger for, if I understood it right or you can purchase just for ten dollars uh, a flat rate for it for the entire for the entire flight, which um, I think it's amazing. We, when you look at other airlines, where the standard is $25 for like 500 megabyte. Uh, I don't know whether there's a limit with Qatar Airways in terms of megabytes, um, but uh, yeah, most of the airlines, internet is like super expensive and uh, it's usually not worth it. So, and here we go, Eden just uh, served the starter. It's a poached lobster and crab lag. And uh, this is also why small talk is a good idea because Aiden got the concept of his passenger. He said, come, we rush through uh, the dinner service or the lunch service so you can maximize your, your resting time. And this is what also a crew's job is. Read your customer, know what he wants, and then you customize the experience for him. That's also your job as crew. It's not like that I want to have a chat or whatever, but it's all part of the game. Read your customer, understand him, and then you customize the serving uh, the service experience for him. This is something I think it is very, very nice. Uh, and that's why Qatar Airways crew is so hardly trained to get this, to get the idea, right? Um, you're probably wondering, airplane food, where does it come from? How is it prepared? Well, Qatar Airways gave me the chance to have a look behind the scenes and and it was fascinating to see how your airplane food is made, how it's prepared, how it's done and how it ends up on the airplane. It's amazing, but have a look yourself. A lot of flight means a lot of food. A lot of meals require a big, big kitchen. And what I saw in Doha was truly mind-blowing. Then thousands of meals are prepared on a daily basis. And if you have always wondered what an airline kitchen looks like, here is your answer. My personal favorite, definitely the scrambled egg machine. That was fascinating, isn't it? Like, uh, incredible, right? The work, the team behind the team, uh, brilliant effort and so interesting to see. And still, by the end of the day, such high quality food. But now, enough talk, let's eat. So here we go, um, it's seafood day for me. Isn't there a diet, like a seafood diet? Keto, Koto, there's some diet which is heavily based on only eating seafood. Keto, I think, Keto diet or something. You guys probably know, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, that looks good. We do have um, Atlantic cod. It's funny, like cod, I always thought it was catch over the day until I realized it's an actual fish. Uh, yeah, and uh, grilled prawn in saffron sauce with pan fried miso. Well, I'd say let's dig in. Let's see. Fish is always difficult on a plane because it gets reheated. It has a tendency to get dry. Um, so, yeah. See how this dish is going to perform. So, quite frankly, um, it wasn't that good. I mean, it was good. It was. It was just average. 
bit on the dry side, I'd say, but it wasn't performing as I was hoping it to be. I think I'm going to skip the dessert, uh, do a little review, and then we're going to go flat, I suggest. So I get a nice nap. I'm wondering which city that is down there. It's pretty big. Might be Baghdad. While we are flying over Baghdad, maybe it's a good chance to check out my Iraqi Airways review on my Baghdad vlog. I went to Baghdad a few months ago. What a great place. Very, very interesting. So I connected to the internet super fast and um, quite interesting. Um, my friend Tim, Tim in the air, give him a follow, uh, who is based in Frankfurt, says that every second flight, and he sent me all those uh, screenshots, every second flight um, is going for a go around because there's a crazy storm right now uh, over Frankfurt. So when we still have four hours to go, it can either get better or worse. We probably have a lot of fun uh, descending or landing in Frankfurt. So there is a bit of action on this flight too. So let me know in the comment section right now. Don't scroll to the end of the video. Let me know in the comment section right now. Are we going to make it on the first attempt or are we going to have a go around? It was alright, it was alright. It was more, more on the dry side, to be honest. I like hope so. But, uh, no, I tried. The flavor was good. I liked the okay. flavor, but it was very, the, dry uh, fish. the fish was rather dry. Oh, but I mean, because... that it happens, you know, that's not an issue. But I mean, I mean talk I mean, to the chef. Nah, nah. I like, nah. I had like three coffees today already, so... Uh, can I clear the table? Yeah, you can clear the table. So, Idin said he's going to prepare the bat uh, while I'm going to do a, re do a review. So, let's see what it's like. The 777 bathrooms are usually very spacious. Alright, and here we are. Lou review on the 777. As I said, very, very spacious. Uh, look at the room you have here. Uh, very nice smell to it. Um, and then you have a few amenities here. I don't know what that is. It looks like facial mist and that it's a uh, moisturizer, soap, sink, tissues, the whole thing. Unfortunately, it's not a Lou River View as I had on a Dreamliner. Oh, I think we have some amenities here as well. Let's have a look. Toothbrush. As well as a shaving kit. So this is it for me. I go gonna go, go flat. Uh, enjoy a bit of a snooze because I'll be flying onwards to Cairo with uh, Aegean Airlines on the 321neo and then the day after I'll be flying uh, Egypt Air on a Dreamliner in business class so a lot of great reviews are coming subscribe right now if you haven't yet that would be amazing that really supports my work it's for free and you always be updated when I post a new video but now let's head back so genius me spelt uh, cranberry juice all over the seats uh, terrible and uh, so I moved seats now yeah total mess so let's go flat well I didn't think I have to explain to you guys how comfortable this flat bed is uh, it's like my bed at home if I had one and then I will talk to you guys once we head into the storm that is currently uh, giving Frankfurt Airport a very hard time and a lot of go-arounds. All right, good night. So I had a brilliant two-hour nap. Uh, you wouldn't believe how comfortable and private the seat is. Uh, the padding is so nice, the cushions, the mattress. It's so soft, it's just like a bed. And the pillows are excellent. The blanket is really nice. Uh, yeah, very, very much impressed. We have two more hours to go. I've just asked for a latte so to get the engine started again. Good times, good times on Qatar Airways, I can say. But let me also compare this seat to the new business suite, which was introduced on the 78. 7-9 Look at that By the end of 2021 Qatar Airways introduced a new business suite on their smaller 787-9 Dreamliners which I tried from Milan to Doha It was an outstanding experience but personally I prefer the Q suite over the business suite especially for its higher and more private walls
damn I feel like I'm enjoying my life a little bit too much right now I got this beautiful latte I mean look how well done it is uh, the layers the coffee the milk um, Edin, 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 his name is Edin. Edin said this is his own creation, so all credit to him. Uh, presentation visually looks perfect, absolutely wonderful. And you can also see how flexible the seat is. Now I'm sitting here in this little cocoon, while this is, the, this is my bed, so I have a little seat, I can sit sideways, I can lie down, I can stretch, I can, you can do a lot of things. You can roam around here, that's how spacious it is. I'm loving it. Uh, I wish this flight would never end. One thing I've never done with Qatar Airways is like an ultra long haul flight. Still on my list. I have to do this for 15 hours one day. Now yeah, we're over Bulgaria right now. Uh, so hello Bulgaria Air. Hope you're doing well. We then started our descent into Frankfurt and this beautiful journey would slowly come to an end. <laughs> So guys, welcome to the land of um, sausages and sauerkraut. Uh, we are in Frankfurt. He butted the landing, beautiful landing. Um, so, and the weather was still quite still, very windy. Um, perfect flight, great crew, amazing hard product. Uh, there was no false note anywhere. It's. Uh, it's Qatar Airways, they are the best and they will remain the best for a very long time. Um, this is it guys, um, please give the video a like if you think it was helpful, subscribe, leave a comment and uh, yeah, check out my Patreon if you want, if you want to support my work, if you want to join my WhatsApp group, want to join my monthly uh, Zoom sessions and be part of my little community uh, which has grown to over 200 patrons now, which I'm very proud of and uh, some very good friends I made uh, through that. Um, this is it, I am off to Cairo now in GNA. Airlines 321 business class review as well as economy so uh, if you don't want to miss out on that one subscribe as well guys thank you so much for watching wherever you're off to have a safe trip